Our next guest is a talented actress you know from shows such as Big Little Lies and The Society. She stars as Cassie Lang in the highly anticipated Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, which will be in theaters and IMAX this Friday. Let's take a look. You know, I promised your mom that you would only use this stuff when one of us was around. It's really dangerous tech. I know, it's dangerous. What if the cops took it from you, huh? What if you lost it? I didn't lose the suit. You have a suit? Wait, you have a suit? I know how to take care of myself, okay? Trust me, I'm pretty good at it by now. Ouch. Look, I didn't mean it like that. I'm no, sorry. That's okay. It's all right. I get it. I just think you should get to have a normal life. Dad, a guy dressed like a bee tried to kill me in my room when I was six. I've never had a normal life. Please welcome back to the show, Catherine Newton, everybody! <laughs> Exciting week for you last week. Uh, yes. The film premiere party, the yes. launch, mm -hmm. and then you also had a birthday. Happy birthday! Congratulations! Thank you. I don't think it's like thank you. Birthdays. Happy birthday! I know. I feel like I have never celebrated my birthday so much. Oh, because everywhere you went, you it had was another my birthday. Group. Yeah, that's the really The premiere nice. was more my birthday than my birthday. You know, I got the job. You know, what a year and a half ago now, and that was like my birthday. And then uh, you know they celebrated my birthday on the press tour. Everyone surprised me on my birthday. I had to go to Toronto for a premiere, and they, the whole audience sang me happy birthday. So if you want to, too, like, I won't. I feel like it's, I feel like it's a week ago, and I feel like we shouldn't. No, 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 I, if you, no, it's OK. It's OK. Thank you so much. I know you wanted to, but it's fine. Do you like attention on your birthday? Because you're no. certainly giving out that vibe. No. No? No, I don't. Like, your birthday's like the one day when you feel like everyone has to tell you happy birthday. So well, you, I, I feel mean, like you don't really like me. You just well, like you wouldn't want him to like say me. it on other days. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it never happened to me before. That's true. Yeah, I've never... we should start doing that more. Just like, happy I birthday, like Seth. It's crazy. Yeah, happy birthday to you. <laughs> Thank you. It's lovely to hear, and I feel like I don't know why we've gotten like boxed ourselves into only saying it on the day. Right. <laughs> why would you do that? Yeah. Why would you do when it? When you could say it also, every fun, day. Now we like if we take this day, now we share a birthday. <laughs> right. It's we, so much fun. we can do it together. We can have cake anytime we want. Oh my God. This is you realize. I feel like you've cracked the code here. This is very exciting. I guess that the real code is if you can do a Marvel movie, like every movie, then it's always your birthday. Yeah, that's the important thing. <laughs> How, no, I mean, obviously, a Marvel premiere is a little unlike any other movie premiere. Was it, uh, was right. it a trip to be there? It was insane. I mean, I've been a part of a fandom before. I was on a show called Supernatural, and the fans are incredible. Yeah, that's a real, that's a real fan base. That changed my life. But then I went to the Marvel movie premiere, and it was like, Huge. The fans are, it's a huge family. It's insane. I saw some, some little Cassie Langs, so that was crazy. It just, people dressed up in your costume. Yeah, it's very exciting. It was really exciting. It felt real. That's when it felt real. You Did know? you feel as though people treated you differently on the set when you were wearing the costume? Let's just take a look real quick. Because I feel like, look, I mean, uh, in the clip you looked great, but this is, I mean, that's like very impressive. I look a little different. Huh? Yeah. It Did you enjoy wearing the suit? Oh, I, I, I love wearing the suit. Can't you tell? That's why I'm in a Kathy yeah. Lang suit. I just am not done cosplaying Kathy Lang. <laughs> I did my hair in a ponytail. What I'm trying to say is I'm a fan yeah. of Kathy Lang. Um, no, definitely people treated you differently. Like, they were a little quieter around me. Oh, that's, yeah. A little more scared. Uh -huh. um, I would be scared. And I, everyone looked at me like it was really me. Like, they think that's who you are all of a sudden when you wear the super suit. And I promise you, I fall just the same in that thing as I do in this. Oh, really? Yeah, you I are, fell a lot. You are, you're a faller. Oh, always, yeah. Everybody says that about you. I'm a tripper, I fall. I'm just like Cassie. Like, I was trying to figure out how to be in a Marvel movie and like impress everybody. And she's a little young hero trying to impress her dad. We're very similar. There you go. Yeah, That's total perfect. Messes. Um, I would imagine Paul Rudd is a perfect person to spend time with, especially on your birthday. I feel like every time I'm with Paul, I do feel like it's my birthday, so. No. Yeah. I, that's what I'm saying. You get every it. Every day is your birthday. Every day was my birthday on this movie because of Paul Rudd. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's the best. He, he gave me a little, a little gift. Um, it's actually from the movie. Oh, and it's a prop from the film? It's a prop from the film that I can't tell you about. Yeah. Because so. it's a, is it spoiler based? Or, or are, you, are you worried that Paul will be arrested for stealing a prop? <laughs> 
I think both. Now yeah, that you I think both. It. Now that we're talking about yeah, it, I now... feel like you should not put that man in danger. If you're the reason <laughs> Rudd goes to jail, no one here will forgive you. Marvel jail. <laughs> Marvel yes. jail, yeah. No, so he did. He made it special, and I'll keep it forever. Okay, well, that's very lovely. Yeah. Um, you, I've talked in the past about that you consider yourself growing up, you, uh, you felt a little nerdy, and then this is both... Uh, superhero, which I feel like superheroes are no longer have the sort of uh, nerd stigma that they used to have because right. they're very mainstream. But also there's a, a great element of science to this. Mm -hmm. uh, so did that scratch the, the nerd itch, for lack of a better term? Yeah, Cassie Lang's a genius. Yeah. You know? She's like figuring out the quantum realm and stuff. So after I finished the movie, I didn't have a job, I was very bored. So I signed up for a physics class at UCLA <laughs> and I did that. I got an A, thank you. Wow. Uh, <laughs> And so we're the same once again. I just want to. Oh my to, God, you're je learn. you're her and she's you. I they're know. I'm just really method, just like Jonathan Majors. Did the UCLA uh, students notice you when you started taking their physics class? No. Okay. I, I was really hoping that. Is somebody that safe would. to say that you did not dress like this? No. <laughs> I, I loved putting my outfits on though for the class, you know, like I put on my little blue light glasses and like a sweater vest because I didn't go to college. So I really was really trying in my Zoom class to make it real and it doesn't have the same effect. Yeah. No. Do you think you dressed like when you saw the other kids, did you think like I'm dressing like kids in college now or yes. I'm dressing like kids from 90s movies that I Definitely thought. 90s movies yeah. that I thought people dressed like now and they don't. Uh -huh. uh, everyone was in sweatpants. Gotcha. I was the only one in a collared shirt. Uh-huh. Yeah. And they it's were okay. like, oh my God, that's so sad. That's an actress. <laughs> I was acting like a student. <laughs> yeah. Um, can I check in on um, oh, on your dogs, please? Oh, yes. Thank okay. you. That's so kind of you to remember. Well, we've talked about your dogs. You yes. have uh, you have three poodles, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, all of whom are so good at posing for uh, photographs. Yes. That is Jack King, ruler of all floof. Uh, Starlight, Rosebud, Hella Good Boy, Gunny to Big Bank, and <laughs> Dan for Ladybird, Keep the Madness Rolling. Okay, now, what do you call them if you have to, like, talk to them quickly? Well, last time, she really didn't have a name, because uh -huh. she doesn't really remember it. Um, so we call her Ladybird or Litter, Little. This is Buddy, and that's Jack. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. And so what are, what are the ages uh, of your dogs here? <laughs> He's about five, three, and two. Okay, gotcha. And one yes. of them has a very special skill. Who's the well, yodeler? Well, the little one's in love with him. Uh huh. And so when he barks a lot, she likes to sing to him. She croons. She's in love, you know? She just wants him to notice her. It's very romantic. And do you feel like he's barking, do you think she's, do you think her crooning is to calm him down or just to like be in duet with him? In like, your head, what are you picturing? <laughs> what does that say? You know, like, I love you. Yeah. Notice me. I don't well, we know. We actually have videos. Oh. So we let the whole, we'll let the whole audience decide what this, okay. this true, just sort of expression of love. The expression, Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Okay, let's see. <laughs> it really is love. Doesn't it feel like love? Yeah. Yeah. I feel yeah. like she's saying, like, what you're looking for isn't out there. <laughs> it's right here on the bed, man. I'm here. <laughs> um, uh, last thing, I know this is a question. I'm asking, knowing full well you'll avoid it, but phase five of Marvel is very exciting very for people. Very exciting. Okay. Young Avengers, people talk about the oh. idea of Young Avengers. What are you talking about? I'm just saying, like, if there was, like, if there was <laughs> gonna be something like that, would you be interested in it? Oh. I don't know what I mean, like, what? Like, yeah. the thing that's cool was that making this movie was the best project of my life, and even if I'm lucky enough to do another Marvel movie, nothing will ever top working with Paul Rudd every day. You there know, you go. Ever, so I don't know. All right, yeah. well, we're certainly happy you made time for us on your birthday, no less. <laughs> my birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. Happy birthday yes. to you. It's so cool that we share it. I Thank know. you so much for being here. Really <laughs> Thank cool. you. You guys, that's Catherine Newton, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania. We'll be in theaters and IMAX on Friday, February 17th. We'll be right back with more Late Night.